Hi friends, this is Denaro Research and welcome to the second part of XRP payments in Codius Contracts video. In the previous video I showed you high level concept of our contract on Codius. XRP is a website that accepts payments in XRPs and guarantees delivery within 30 minutes otherwise refunds money. Let's have a quick overview of XRP architecture. On the front end we have user interface which will be a simple web interface and on the back end we have two models. The first one manages payments and the second one manages refunds. In this video I'll show you how to implement payments model. When user gets to check out web page we show him XRP address and destination tag. This tag matches with other ID. And then we start to check ledger. If payment received, we immediately start delivery. If not, we check whether time expired, so in our case it would be 15 minutes. If time has not expired yet, we check ledger again. Otherwise, we cancel payment. Since my primary focus is XRP payments, I skipped and simplified the rest part of application. Here is how checkout web page looks like. We have order number 41, one pepperoni, its price 20 XRPs, XRP payment address. This is address on the testnet, so when we will move to production we will change it. Destination tag, which can be any integer number. In this case this number matches with order ID or order number and status, waiting for payment. Here is HTML part. As you see, I have hard-coded almost everything for simplicity, price, address, destination tag, except status. We'll use socket IO to update it once we receive payment. And here is index.js file. It may look familiar to you if you watch my video how to create code use contract, but I have added few things. The backend part of socket IO and instead of sending some random data, we send index HTML web page. In order to implement payments model, we need to install RippleLib. This is JavaScript wrapper of XRP Ledger API. So let's go to the terminal and install it. npm install minus minus save ripple lib and hit enter. Library is installed, its current version is 1.00 beta 3 and we are ready to implement payments model. I have created two constants, the first one is our XRP payment address and the other one is address of testnet validator. So now let's integrate ripple lib into our code. Another one constant ripple API equals to require ripple lib dot ripple API and create API variable or constant constant API equals to new ripple API and we'll provide one parameter server address server equals to server okay now let's implement login part so API on error so this would be messaging or login for errors call back with two parameters error code and message and we'll simply console log them console log code and message and let's do the same for connection and disconnection connected with no parameters console log connected to 
as an add. And copy. On disconnected with disconnection code, and we'll simply type code and some message like disconnected. Okay, now let's connect to network and check for transaction. So API connect. Then here we'll put our code and in case of error we'll catch error and console console lock it. Console error. Since payment credentials should be valid for 15 minutes, let's implement them. So let's create some variable and call it checks and it will be equal to zero. Then create another variable and call it check transaction and it would be equal to set interval function. Here we'll place our code and we'll check ledger every second. And if number of checks has not exceeded, so if checks is less than 900, which equals to 15 minutes, then we'll do something else. We'll cancel our transaction. In this part, we'll check ledger and in the end of every check we'll increment ledger. So checks plus plus. If time has passed we'll clear interval clear interval so check transactions console log some message like Payment is cancelled and IO emit message equals to payment is cancelled. So this IO emit function will send message to our browser so client will see that his payment is cancelled. In order to receive payment, we'll use get transactions function, which shows the list of incoming and outgoing transactions from and to specific address. This function has long list of options, most of them can be skipped, but it may not work if we do not specify min ledger version which is integer number. If we set this option, so get transaction function will return transactions starting from this ledger version. But in order to get min ledger version, we need get ledger version function. So here it is. It has no parameters and returns current ledger number. So let's begin with ledger version. API get ledger version then we'll have ledger number so let's call this variable ledger and implement callback so let's console log ledger number let's see how it looks like console log ledger Okay, let's save and run code. Node index.js. So we have connected to testnet, and here is current ledger number. Okay, let's use this ledger number in get transactions function. So API 
get transactions. Firstly, we have to provide our address. So we have specified it already. And options mean ledger version equals to ledger. Then we'll receive some callback with transactions and we'll implement this callback. So let's console log list of incoming and outgoing transactions. Console log transactions. In order to test transactions, I'll use simple application that sends 20 XRPs from my another test account. In the next video I'll explain you how it works in more details, but for now let's just use it. So firstly let's start XRPizza app node index.js. We are connected to testnet and here is empty array of incoming and outgoing transactions. In the next window we will launch our application that sends test transaction. So node test send. Okay, here is transaction and here it is. Type payment, address, transaction ID, so we can check it uh, in the Ledger Explorer. So some objects, source and destination. If we dive, dive deeper here, we'll see more details from this transaction. Result, success, timestamp, fee, and balance changes. And of course, ledger version. So now let's loop through array of transactions and find one that matches with our destination tag. So if, sorry, for transaction of transactions if transaction specification destination tag equals to 41 which is tag of our transaction and ID of our order then we'll clear interval and send message to browser that payment is received and will start delivery. IO emit is tag status and message payment was received. Okay, let's copy status in this Part as well. Well, let's add some more transactions details into this message. Here is what I have added. Transaction ID, source address, destination tag, and amount. So finally, we the only thing we need to do is front-end part. If we receive from server message with status tag, we'll firstly update payment status and then console log transaction details. So socket on status then we will receive some message or data. Let's call this data and let's implement callback. So firstly update of this row document get element and by id status email html equals to data message and then console log transaction details console log from data 
from. Let's copy this row. Tag. Tag. Amount. Amount. And transaction ID. 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 Well, let's save code and test our application. Here is our checkout page. Order, price, destination tag, address, and status waiting for payment. And opened JavaScript console. On the right hand side, our test sender that sends test transactions. So, let's send one and check it. So let's wait. And here we see that the status has been changed to payment was received. And in JavaScript console we see source address, destination tag, amount and transaction ID. Well, we have just implemented payments model. Of course this is very primitive and simple implementation. And in real world applications you need to add more complexity and validations there. But my original idea was to show you how things work with XRP payments. In the next video I'll show you how to implement Refunds Manager and will convert this application into Codius contract. Thumbs up if you like this video, subscribe to my channel if you want more videos and leave your questions in the comment section below. Bye!